Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. What I want to talk to you about over the next couple of weeks is the mental side of fishing. Fishing isn't just about going out, putting some time on the water, and catching fish. If you want to be good, if you want to be the best, whether it's at fishing in tournaments, fun fishing on the weekends, or fishing for trophy class fish, it's more than just time on the water. You've got to think through what you're doing, and you've got to create a better mental game. So what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is film some videos talking about the unique qualities that you need to develop to become a better angler. The first one is passion. Passion is what separates the guys that are always on the podium, always holding photos of giant fish from everybody else. And it's so important to understand that. So this first video I'm going to show you is Gary Dobbins talking about his win at the U.S. Open in 2009. What I want you to hear, listen to his story, listen to what he has to say, but what I really want you to hear is just the sheer passion that's coming out of him. That's why he won that tournament. He was not going to give up. You'll hear him say he wanted it more than anything else. That's why he finally won that tournament. So give it a watch. Keep that in mind. Think about that passion. And also, I apologize for the poor sound quality. It was shot in a very, very loud room. So turn your speakers down a little bit. But listen to what Gary has to say. I'll talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Gary Dobbins, and welcome to Tactical Bass, a website that tells it how it really is and uh, always is very, very 100% true. Here with Matt Allen today, and he asked me to talk about the U.S. Open last year and how I approached it and what kept me going. And so basically, I had finished really close to winning numerous times, uh, numerous seconds and thirds, fifth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Um, and I just set my sights on that tournament. I, I just wanted to be able to say I won the U.S. Open. It's the most prestigious tournament in the West. Uh, it was one of our first big money tournaments anyway, really. And I just wanted to be able to say I won it. So after a second place finish in 08, um, I went down in 09, and I practiced a lot more. I actually went down for three days. I flew down, fished for three days, went home, flew back down. I fished for four days, went back home luxury of having a friend down there that does have a boat. Um, I went back to the tournament and I practiced three more days. So I had ten days of practice on the body of water that I, you know, I know fairly well, but I wanted to have a lot of areas. I wanted to be able to have, you know, backups because I've always been so close and I needed one more spot or I needed one more fish. Um, so I really put the time in. I haven't pre-fished ten days for any tournament in my life, but I got to win the U.S. Open because of preparation, you know, being determined, uh, not really being happy with the fish that I found. I kept always looking for better fish. Uh, and I honestly, I did catch a good break. I mean, I'd fished down there enough. I seen wind crash down on the bank on day two. I'd ran past this place. I hadn't even fished on day one. I hadn't caught a fish there in practice. But it was just, it felt right. I'd fished down there enough that I knew what to look for, and it just felt right. And I wheeled the boat around, I went in. Second cast, I caught like a two and a half, or two and three quarters. The next cast, I caught a three and a half, which was actually big fish for the day. Uh, and it was just it was just awesome, and that really set me up. Then I could gamble a little bit. I fished real aggressive through the whole tournament. I spent a lot of time in Vegas Wash. The best fish in the, in the whole lake is in Vegas Wash. And I fished there the first day for you know three or four hours, nothing. Went back the second day um, because I had a pretty good start, and I died there. I fished for like five hours, never had a bite. I bailed out of there again. Um, day three, I fished a little bit what I call you know chicken fishing. I had a pretty good lead in the event, so I went and caught a limit, throwing a, a gunfish 95 in the narrows. I mean, I can always catch a limit of fish doing that. And then I went back to Vegas Wash again, and I stayed down there beating my head against the wall. Finally, I got a bite, and it was a three and a quarter pounder. And I already really had enough weight, I figured to win, but that, that fish there just sealed. Um, and because of all the preparation, being really determined, um, the lake does fit my style of fishing. I love to throw reaction bait, and I like to cover water. That lake is, it doesn't have a good population of fish, not like our northern body of the water and stuff like that. There's just not a great fishery, uh, a great striper fishery. And so, really, if you're a reaction bait fisherman and you like to cover water, I mean, that lake me just suits my style of fishing. I think it's the ultimate choice for a tournament lake. 
just because it's tough, it's always a grind, it's hot. I mean, we had 120 and 121 degree temperature on two of those days last year. It was brutal. Um, uh, I mean, it's just the ultimate, ultimate tournament. And I can now say that I actually won the U.S. Open.